All right, everyone, and welcome back to the channel, or welcome if you're new here. I'm Christina, aka That Variety Nerd, and today we're gathered here for a brand new series. That's correct, people. We have a brand new series here on That Variety Nerd. It's going to be a great time. Uh, so this was something that kind of, like, you know how, like, you have those thoughts that are, like, at 2 o'clock in the morning, and you're just like, oh, this might, we might be onto something here. But... I thought, let's just do my GM this year, because Universe Mode is broken, for the most part. And my GM has, you know, story progression, character development, etc., etc. And it's just a fun mode that we can just pick up and play into the, you know, into the void, essentially. Uh, and so I figured, you know what, maybe doing an episode or two of this a week, that'll be fine for us. So what I thought about was, why not just throw in all of our My Rise characters, or at least most of them? I couldn't find a Tavish on Community Creations, at least at the time of recording this. If you, found, if you find a Tavish, let me know. But I figured, you know what, this will be an interesting way to kind of get everybody interacting and that sort of thing. And yeah, we'll still continue the Christina Bennett series. I'm just working on the writing for the next episode or two, and then we'll go in and film it, edit, all that good stuff. And of course, for Justine and Ava, we got the credits down in the description below for the, you know, usernames and that kind of thing from Community Creations, because we give credit where credit is due around here. The only thing I did change up were the outfits, obviously, but you know what? That's just, you know, we wanted to make everybody look like general managers and that sort of thing. So as you can see, we've got Christina Bennett running SmackDown, Justine Janine running W. CW, Max Storm running Monday Night Raw, and Ava Moreno back at NXT because I didn't know where else to put her and that was the only two options. Well, we only had one of two options. It was NXT or NXT 2.0. I figured NXT just made all the sense in the world. So, on that note, grab your snacks, grab your choice of beverage, get comfy and cozy, and we're going to get to the draft. Well, before we get to the draft, <laughs> we got to go with the difficulty. Uh, yeah, I think we're going to stick to normal. Uh, we'll up up the budget to $3 million. Uh, I think everything else is fine, so let's go for it, people. Let's start the draft. Season 1. Draft rules. Each GM will start with a budget of $3 million. GMs will take turns drafting one after the other. There will be nine rounds of drafting after the ninth round. Drafting becomes optional. GMs can opt out or draft until they are out of cash. So that's pretty much it. And the recommendations, which the recommendations are actually pretty clutch sometimes, and it's like, oh, okay, this could be interesting. Cool. Also, if there are any people that you would like to see in my GM, uh, do indeed let me know in the comments down below. I'm going to try to at least get one or two of these episodes out just to kind of get a groove for it and we can kind of figure things out along the way and that sort of thing. Again, we, we always appreciate any and all comments, feedback, etc. Alrighty. So I think for our first person, oh my god, we got a lot of bad guys right off the bat. Let's get Cody. He's going to be our first pick. Smackdown drafts Cody Rose. All right, let's see who WCW picks. Ronda Rousey, okay. Brock's going to Monday Night Raw. Alexa's going to NXT. Okay, pretty solid start. Uh, let's get Roman off the board. Look at us. Okay, I like WCW getting the women. Finn's going to Raw, and then Dewdrop. Okay, NXT and Raw seem to be focusing on their women's division. I think we need to as well. So let's see who we got over here. I think, uh, let's go with Rhea Ripley. Rhea Ripley. Gotta split up the Judgment Day, right? <laughs> Alrighty. Oh god, they're going fast. Okay, Raw got Charlotte. And then Big E went over to WCW. Edge went over to NXT. All right, we need ideally a good guy. So I think let's get Candice LeRae. Why not? I think we got a good little roster so far. God, this goes by so fast. <laughs> MVP to WCW. Shayna over to Monday Night Raw. And AJ Styles heads over to NXT. Okay, well, we have an interesting selection over here. So we've got, oh uh, yeah, I kind of like the idea of having Shinsuke on the show. He could go up against Roman. That could be kind of interesting. Now let's go. I know we need variety on our roster, but you know what? We're getting there. And the thing about the normal difficulty is that you also get the tag titles, I think, and that sort of thing. And I think a secondary title. I could be wrong, but yeah. It's been a little bit since we've spent some time in, in this mood. Alrighty, so... We have 
No giants, no cruisers. We don't have... Well, I mean, we have one specialist. We have a bunch of people on the roster. Uh, we don't have any bad guys. Well, I mean, we have bad guys, but we I feel like we need another one, right? So, ooh. Okay, we're gonna have to make do with what we have. But that's fine. We'll get Solo. Why not? Solo is great. Oh, and he provides another match for Shinsuke, so that could work, too. Smackdown selects Solo Sikoa. So low. Okay. So WCW, Kofi Kingston, Alba Fire, Matt Riddle. Now they got T Bar, Randy Orton, and Shelton Benjamin. See, this is truly the universe mode mode where it's like just everything just all hits the fan and we're here for that energy. Right, right. So I think we need another good guy over here. Kind of even things out a little bit. Yeah, I don't know who we're going to go with, y'all. We could get our truth. Our truth is legit. Eric Boogs. <laughs> All right, let's take a look here. I think we'll try to find a fighter next. I feel like that makes sense. But we really don't have that many options. We got our tr we got Dexter Loomis. There we go. Dexter Loomis and Shinsuke versus the Bloodline. <laughs> oh my God, that would actually be kind of great. <sighs> Because uh, the rest are all bad guys for whatever reason. I'm like, what is happening over here? Oh my god, that might be our only option. Let's see what we got for the specialists. Again, I don't want to get too many specialists, right? But, I mean, we could get Dragon off. That could be good. I'm down. <laughs> Priorities. Alrighty, Carmella goes over to WCW. Top Doll is going to Monday Night Raw. And Massey goes to NXT. Beautiful. Alrighty. I like it. I like the fact that we can get EO Sky on the show as well. That could be good. Because that way we get a little bit of... Well, d would she have anybody to go up against, potentially? Because, like, usually a lot of the bad guys are like... Okay. If we get Raquel, that might work. So, yeah, let's get EO while she's on the board. Back down picks. Now we have a little bit more of, like, just different types of matches to kind of go with. Okay, WCW picked Dana Brooke. NXT got Bailey, and Raw got R-Truth, which is great. Okay, so we can go with Raquel. We can go with Zoe. We can go with Blair. Which, I think all those are good. I think that would be a nice little women's division right there. Plus, we got Rhea and... Uh, Candace, which would work too. So I think let's go with Raquel next. Alrighty, we got Drew Gulak on WCW. We got Otis for Monday Night Raw. We got Natalia going over to NXT. Alrighty, so I think if we go with Zoe, that could be a good matchup right there. We got Blair as well. And we got Dakota Kai. So I think for now, let's go ahead and get Zoe Stark. Well, I mean, yeah. Because I think we, we could go for a couple of people on the women's division side of things. Or we get Indy. I think let's go with Indy for the specialist Indy. on the women's side of things. Because it's like, we, we need a good variety of matches. We need an assortment here. Okay, so Santos Escobar going to WCW. Meechin Mia Yim going over to Raw. And Ludwig is going over to NXT. So let's see here. I think let's get Blair. And then I think we'll be good for the women's division side of things. Then we could focus our attention over to the men's side of things. I think that's a good move. I think we'll focus on building up the men's division right now as well. So we have Commander Aziz to WCW, Ivy Nile to Raw, and uh, Mustafa Ali over to NXT. Okay, so we got our choice here of uh, good old Dexter Loomis, uh, JD McDonough, Logan Paul, and Zoe Stark. Uh, I think Dexter would make sense, although it'd be kind of hilarious to kind of see him go up against like the bloodline and stuff, but we also need another bad guy on the guy's roster, because right now they have Ilya, Cody, and Shinsuke is the good guy. So we ideally need to get a bad guy. So I'm kind of on board with getting JD to fill out that gap on that side. Now we would probably have to get a giant. Which like, you know, I mean, our options are very slim pickings. But I think it could work because we have at least a couple of like specialists with Cody and Ilya. So I think it could kind of work. 
Plus, we could always get a giant later on, so I feel like that would work. Down chooses JD and again, we need a little bit of, you know, just different competitors on our show. We'd like a nice, well-rounded roster. So Ivar is going to WCW, Cedric Alexander is going to Raw, and Veer is going to NXT. So that leaves us with either Shanky. Well, I mean, that would leave us with just Shanky to go up against JD. Which, again, not necessarily ideal, but here we are. Uh, but, again, like I said, we have some specialists, which I feel like could work. So I think we have three bad guys and three good guys. So I feel like it can be pretty open-ended from this point as to who we bring onto the roster. And we have plenty of money left. So I think we'll at least get one or two more people on the team. I kind of like the idea of bringing on Carmelo Hayes. Um, yeah, we really don't have too many options left over, but that's okay. Uh, let's see here. You know what? I think we should get Chad Gable because we don't have like a male specialist on the roster, and I think that would help flesh things out a little bit. So I think if we get a specialist that may be a random good guy, I feel like that could work. Right, right. Smackdown selects Chad Gable. Alrighty, so we have uh, Chad Gable over here on SmackDown, Cruz Del Toro, WCW, Monday Night Raw selects Shanky, and then Tamina's going to NXT. So let's take a look-see and see what we can get in terms of the good guys to kind of flesh out more of the male roster. And then I think this might be your last pick, just because like I feel like we're kind of at slim pickings for the roster. I mean, not so much on the women's side of things, but on the guys' side of things, I really think that's the case right now. But I think, let's go ahead and get Carmelo, because I think, you know, we could easily work something in with him and uh, Chad Gable, potentially. So I think that could work. Smackdown picks Carmelo. Hey. Plus it's Carmelo. He doesn't miss. <laughs> oh, WCW's all done. Okay, they've got an interesting roster. Got some potential there. Monday Night Raw is all done now. Okay, they've got a pretty loaded roster. I'm not going to lie. I guess everybody's picking the same thing. We're just taking our money and leaving. But, again, decent roster so far for NXT as well. And I think we're going to leave too, because, well, we have not as much money. But, I mean, we got a decent roster to start with. We can always grow and expand the roster and that sort of thing. So there's that. There's our roster. Let's do it. Alrighty, look at our group there. I mean, that is a pretty stacked, like, th just that image alone, I think it looks pretty stacked. Hall of Fame. Okay, so to earn the Hall of Fame and prove you're the best, be the first GM to earn 10 Hall of Fame trophies. Trophies can be awarded through career achievements or seasonal challenges. Entering the Hall of Fame will allow you to continue playing or retire your save file. I actually got to that point. It took me, like, a full, like two weeks I think and that was like maybe doing a couple hours a night or something like that it, it's 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 a grind but it's worth it I think Montreal Canada tonight's the night the debut show we have high hopes for you I will try to not let you down well of course Justine and Ava are going to be after us right away. Hey Bennett, I just wanted to let you know that I plan on taking WCW to the top of the power rankings and staying there. Whatever Aunt Justine, Janine. I have the roster and show running capabilities to do it. I don't think SmackDown stands a chance. You really think you can contend with us when we have superstars like Ronda Rousey? Get real. Well we have Rhea Ripley, so I, I, I think that's enough, right? <laughs> Bennett, how's it going? Just wanted to wish you luck for the coming season. We're looking forward to it over on NXT. That's a little too nice, Ava. Obviously, with the likes of Edge on our books, we think we, we're going to give SmackDown more than a run for its money. I guess we're going to find out. Well, we have um, Roman Reigns and Cody, so I think that that's enough. That That's enough, Ava. All right, select your world champion. We're just going to throw it on the most popular person right now. So, Roman and Rhea are our current champions, which is great. And I think, again, we got a nice roster to kick things out, to kick things off with, right? Right. Alrighty, so Trips is waiting to see how our first show fares off. And then the Commissioner Goal have at least one last man standing match this week. Oh, boy. Okay, so here's the Hall of Fame trophies. Complete five challenges this season. Purchase all power cards before a show. 
Book 8 shows of the self promo. Gained 225 popularity between all of the roster. Okay, that's pretty doable. Do we have anybody that could be of interest for our show? Okay. Well, we could get Omos. Well, he's only five weeks. All right, I'm spotting a wild LA Knight into the mix. So I think we could get him for five weeks. Oh, and then let's, do we want our good pal Logan Paul on the roster? I think that could be interesting. <laughs> our good pal Logan Paul. God, it's like I avoided him during the draft and yet here we are needing, needing at least more people. But I think we've got a well-rounded roster to kick things off with. We got plenty of money left over and that sort of thing. So I think let's kick things off with the world title. Uh, we'll do the last man standing match because, well, we gotta get we gotta get the commissioner goal met, and we did just that. Uh, let's see here. Let's do. I kind of want to start out with a triple threat match, you know, to kind of keep things. Oh wait, why can't I set a title match for the triple threat? Interesting choices. Okay, so uh, Candice LeRae versus Rhea Ripley for the title. And don't you all worry, we're going to kick things off with a match to kind of like, you know, start things off on the right foot. Uh, I don't know if we're going to watch the last man standing match or if we're going to watch the Rhea and Candice match, but we're going to watch one of these matches. Uh, tag team titles, let's see here. Well, we have the women's tag titles too, so we could just get that going on the women's side of the roster. I think that could be pretty interesting. Um, yeah, we got Indy and Blair, so I think we'll have Raquel and Indy working together. We'll have Blair and Eo for the women's tag titles. And then over here on the men's side of things, uh, let's start with Chad and Carmelo for the Intercontinental title. And then for self-promo, uh, let's get Cody out there, because he's Cody and he can talk. Uh, let's have Logan Paul. Well, we'll set up a feud with him and LA Knight, hopefully. Sometimes it doesn't, but you know what it is, what it is. And then, let's see here. Let's see here. We'll do the charity promo. We'll throw in Ilya for that one. We, we, we like a little bit of just different things going on. So, there's that. But... We're definitely going to go through at least probably five of these seasons because everything unlocks by season five or by the end of season four at least. So I think maybe doing at least five seasons would be pretty good. Uh, and then the format, we're going to go through one match and we're going to book the show, see where we're at and that sort of thing. But I think we're going to at least do one match per episode, which is, I think, pretty reasonable. Because again, otherwise we're going to be here for half the night, right? Right. So I think... Well, last man standing, we're going to be here half the episode, but I mean, you know what? It is what it is, right? Right. But here we go. So Hall of Fame progress. I love how that just switched over just because of Kaon. Uh, wait. Oh, so there's more. Oh my God. I didn't realize this, but there's more than, okay. So there's all these different challenges. Got it. Okay. I was like, what is this? Why is it allowing me to select here? Why is everything moving around so much? But I didn't realize that there are more of these little things. I was just going off of the first four, which that would explain a lot. Okay, but anyway, we're going to go ahead and confirm the booking. What a mess, am I right? Right? Oh, God. Okay. Well, I mean, it's not like we can really do anything. So we're going to confirm the booking. All right, we're going to we're gonna watch the Roman and Shinsuke match because it's Roman and Shinsuke in the last man standing match. That I forgot to set for the title. Let's go ahead and watch Candace versus Rhea. At least that's a title match. <laughs> We're going to spectate. We're going to watch this. This is the first match on our debut episode. We forgot to set the title for the last man standing match. It's fine. It's week one. I think we deserve a pass. Alrighty, people. We got the SmackDown Women's Championship. I need to fix the sound for the next episode. So just shh. We're going to get there. Shh. <laughs> <laughs> we have the SmackDown Women's Championship. Live from the basketball gym. I mean, I guess it's just a regular gym. Beautiful. 
See, the SmackDown Women's title, like, just works for her. I don't know how else to word it. It just does. But here we are, friends. Here we are indeed. We got the title on the line. Here in the debut match for a uh, well, good old wonderful my GM. We were, again, we were going to watch the main event, but then I forgot to put the title on the line, and that kind of defeats the purpose of it. But then it's like, well, this is the first match for the first episode of my GM, which also makes sense for us to showcase, right? Right. Ooh, I forgot all about the unique controls that we can do. Beautiful. But here we go, people. We're just going to sit back, we're going to watch, we're going to see what happens, um, and kind of talk things through. So, yeah, I wanted to do my GM because, again, it's a little bit more story-driven and not as glitchy as the universe mode. And honest to God, I'm just burnt out of universe mode. <laughs> I know, it's been out for, what, like four months now? Almost five, something like that now, with 2K23. But honest to God, I just, I just, I'm so burnt out of universe mode. <laughs> Last season, I'm like, okay, we, we went 130 episodes. That's more than enough. But I figured my GM, again, there's more story progression, and it's not broken. <laughs> and it's like, yeah, I don't know. I, I feel like my GM is a lot more fleshed out this year, so I'm like, okay, we're going to go with that because it's a little bit more straightforward, right? And I, we're doing our My Faction update once a week, and we kind of have a chit-chat, play a couple matches, and I think, you know what, that's kind of what we need. We just some, we need something more laid back for 2K23. So, yeah, I hope this is a good direction for everybody. We're still going to work on the Christina Bennett series. It's just that that just takes a little more time and energy and effort to put together because, you know, we got to write the script, we got to do this and that and this and that. My goal for today, hopefully, once I get up and moving after filming this, is to potentially get like a coffee or some Starbucks or something like that. Get some writing done. Get some scripting out for the uh, for the series. Because I, I quite enjoy the Christina Bennett series. I'm enjoying this series so far. I'm enjoying my faction. And, you know, I wanted... St I, my thing was that I wanted more story-driven stuff. And, you know, I also like the my faction stuff because it's, it's just easy to film and easy to do. Because it's a once a week video, and it's very chill and easy going, so I'm like, if we do an episode or two of my GM, I can film that pretty quickly, get that edited and scheduled for the week, get the my faction stuff when I can during the week, and then, you know, our reaction video, sometimes once or twice a week. And yeah, I think it's a good direction. I, I like the direction of the channel and where it's going. Y'all seem to be enjoying the content too. And again, this is just something very different. I'm kind of envisioning this, like now that we're kind of getting going around here we'll probably get a couple of weeks in per video because i want to at least show one of the matches per week which i mean if it gets a little repetitive then it is what it is but i i think that's a good direction to kind of go with for this i think but again let me know any no comments feedback suggestions that kind of thing down in the comments down below and we'll go forth from there we're gonna see an evolution from high school gym to wrestlemania in big bold stadiums. <laughs> there's there's more character with this, and I think it'll be interesting to see how all the different characters with the My Rise characters and how they kind of evolve and that kind of thing too as general managers. Because I know we want more interaction, but it's like we can't always get to it right away with the direction, especially where things are kind of going with and uh, the Christina Bennett story. Because I have a direction that I think we're going to enjoy. <laughs> And yeah, I know we're, we're not really focused on the match in terms of the commentary for this, per, per usual, right? But I mean, that's what the first episode's for, is to kind of, you know, set the foundation, set the groundwork, talk things through with your community, and that sort of thing. Oh, ouch. That looked painful. But yeah, that's kind of what I'm thinking out loud, right? You know, it's like, I want to make sure that, you know, I'm having fun with the content. You all are having fun with the content. We're all having a good time over here. We're just here to just have snacks, drink coffee, and just film videos from the luxury of our red couch. <laughs> uh, I am recording this the day of SummerSlam, so I don't know if this will be up before SummerSlam. Ideally, I'd like for it to be up before SummerSlam. So, there's that too. 
but we've had we've got a pretty competitive matchup over here between Candace and Maria. I think it's I think it's interesting. Oh. We got a nice just, you know, spread in terms of the card and that kind of thing. Oh boy. Oh, that might be it for Candace, y'all. That that might be it. I don't know why she just didn't go in for the cover. Oh. See, if you would have went for the cover after the move, you might not have had Mr. Rope Break kick in there. Which, by the way, we have a massive update coming for y'all for my faction, like to the point where I may just upload that Monday, because it's we've, we've had a lot. Oh, and a two count right there. But we'll see. We gotta see where the flow is gonna go with the videos and that kind of thing, so... Yeah, again, I'm gonna go and grab a coffee in a little bit, I think. We'll see how the weather's panning out, because I think it's supposed to rain. I don't know. Again, we're kind of all over the place today, and that's A-OK. -okay. Oh, there goes Candace. Oh, okay, we're good for a while. It's not supposed to rain until the overnight. We're good to go, but Candace LeRae from the top rope. Oh, and Rhea kicked out. We got a little bit of a mini Fight Forever chant in there. I also realize we've only done one Fight Forever video, but I mean, I haven't had much of a reason to really go back. I've only played it a handful of times. But I mean, if you want more of that footage too, do indeed let me know. But Candice LeRae on the offense right here. I think doing a one match per week type of video to, well, not like, not, not per video, but like a one match per week on a, my GM is a little bit more sustainable because, like, if you're doing universe mode, you're typically going through, like, two to three matches per episode. And I'm like, okay, I can do that, but I want story progression. <laughs> and not the, mo I don't want a broken mode. And this seems to be pretty straightforward. And again, it's something different. It's a little bit more sustainable. Uh, so there's that. And I thought it'd be funny to just have our My Rise characters in there. Just for funsies. See how they really turn into general managers. It's non-canon. The, the canon's within the Christina Bennett series. Uh, not this. So just, just a heads up over there. Oh boy. This could be it for Candace, y'all. Oh, that's it. Candace is tapping. Rhea Ripley retains the SmackDown Women's title. Making a bit of a mockery of her opponent right there. Oh, boy. Got some replays right there. But Candace the Ray put in a very just valiant effort here tonight. I'll, I'll say that much for sure. I know we're missing the music. We'll get there. <laughs> we'll fix that for episode number two. Here we go, people. Rhea Ripley retaining the title here in episode number one. Here from the, live from the high school gym. <laughs> oh my god! Look at that. We have we have a three and a half star match. No rivalry, but still a three and a half star match, and that's what matters. Alrighty. See how Cody does. All right, let's see the rest of this. Simulate. All righty, Carmelo wins. Two stars. Carmelo's the Intercontinental Champion. We got a rivalry between Logan Paul and LA Knight. Kicking off, let's see how the tag match goes. Raquel and Indy win the title. We got a bit of a rivalry going on with EO and Blair versus Raquel and Indy for the women's tag titles. Ilya got us some more fans on the charity promo. We forgot to set up the title match over here, but Roman Reigns wins last man standing. Ooh! Interesting. Good to know that our main event stuck up the joint, which is great. So there's that. So right now, the feuds that we have going on right now, Logan Paul and LA Knight, Blair Davenport and EO Sky versus Raquel Rodriguez and Indy Hartwell, and that's it. All right, where are we at? Okay, so we gained 38,000 fans. Oh. Okay, well, we did better than Raw, so that's good. Okay, I think we came in third place, which, all things considering, isn't too bad. 
Okay, awesome, awesome. Okay, so we're in third place. Ava and Justine are ahead of us, and Max is also sneaking up the joint as well. But our budget ain't sneaking up the joint. Well, I mean, it kind of is, because we're in last place, but barely in terms of the budget. But we're, we're on our way up. We're moving in the world, and that's what matters. And I think all these champions make a lot of sense, and, you know, that sort of thing. So we're going to see what happens. Milwaukee, season one, week two. Alrighty, so that is episode number one of good old my GM. Uh, we're gonna probably go another couple weeks in the next episode and that sort of thing. But let me know what y'all thought. Uh, let me know what y'all thought about this episode down in the comments down below. Who do you want to see on the show? What kind of views do we want to see and that sort of thing? So on that note, thank y'all so much for tuning in. Leave a like, comment, subscribe, do all that fun stuff here on the channel, and I will see you all in the next one. Bye.